Okay, good day everybody. And um, there's a new assignment available for theme one. Um, so I'm just going to quickly walk you through the assignment because we're using a special assignment system to actually capture anything. Um, and there's a few things that, that you as a student um, should do on your part to make sure that the submission for the assignment is successful. So if you go to theme one and you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see there's an assignment there and there's a lot of assignment instructions. So please carefully read those, um, those assignment instructions. So there it tells you what to do if it's not opening, that probably has something to do with your pop-up blocker. Um, and it gives you some hints to make sure that your assignment is successful. Um, so to access the assignment, um, all you need to do is you just need to click on that link. Uh, then a new page will open and that will direct you to another page. Um, and this, then it will show you this little page um, over here which says BS Assignment 1. So if you want to start a new assignment, we're just going to click there and then click Enter. Um, then it will load the assignment for us. So it's going to load a bunch of stuff over here. Uh, just give it a few seconds. Okay, and there again, there is the assignment instructions. So please carefully go through the assignment instructions. Um, if you're experiencing any trouble um, and, it, and it was addressed in the instructions, then we're going to ignore any request or um, further information on that. We're just going to ignore anything that you emailed us if it is actually given in the instructions. Okay, so once you've gone through the instructions, you can just start. Um, and here you'll see you have your bunch of questions. There's about eight questions in there. Um, and then there's a problem statement, and here the questions are. So you just need to fill in the values. I'm just going to fill in something random here. Then you submit it. Um, and you do this for each question. Um, and then you go through the different questions, and once you're happy with everything, you can just say end exam. Um, and then this um, submission will actually go through. Um, you can pause the exam at any time. Um, you can exit it, and you can come back to it. Um, so I'm just going to quickly do that. I'm just going to pause it. So there it says that's been sus suspended. So I can actually close this thing and just go back. So if I click on this again, we go there. And they would actually tell me that um, my second attempt is incomplete, so I can then reattempt it. I just need to click on enter. Let me see. And then it will tell you um, I can just resume. And there it saved my previous attempts, everything. So you can actually go out of it and then go back in. Um, so once you're happy about everything, then you can just click on end exam. Um, and then we'll probably give you a warning that um, not all your answers have been su submitted successfully, uh, but that's okay in this case, and there obviously we got zero for this one because I didn't submit anything. Um, but the good news is, is after you've made your submission, you can actually check what you did. Uh, so you can just click there and they will tell you exactly what was the expected answer, uh, what you did wrong, um, and so forth. And that then counts for each and every one. So you can go back to your results. So the idea is that you can then actually just go through and see where you went wrong. Um, so you'll be allowed two submissions. Um, so you can do it the first time, try it, see who went wrong, and then retry the, um, the retry the exam. So you can get quite a high mark for this if you want to. Okay, so once you're done, um, you can exit the exam, so the exam is finished. Um, just be careful of one thing. After you've completed the exam and you go to Grade Center, um, it won't show anything in Grade Center yet. It will just show you've got 0 for 70. Um, the reason for that is that we have to manually push the marks through from the system on which is actually being written, which is not the same as Grade Center. Um, so we will do that about once a day. So after you've completed your exam, you can then um, just, just give it a day or so and then go back and see if your mark have been, has been updated. Um, if your mark hasn't been updated, um, and this happens with a very small proportion of people, um, that means that your assignment might not have been successfully captured. So if you go back to the assignment, click on the assignment, um, make sure that there it tells you the number of attempts allowed two, number of attempts you have made two, and that your grade is there. If your grade is not there, that means that it didn't successfully capture your submission. Um, that means you still have another attempt left. It means it didn't save your submission. It, had, it happens um, with, again, a small proportion of students, but it, uh, but it does actually happen. So make sure after you've completed the assignment and you go here that you can actually see your mark there. If your mark is not there, then there's a good chance your assignment or your submission got lost and you have to redo it. Okay, so um, if you just enter, uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, it actually should be able, we should be able to view our previous um, assignments. And again, there is the last one. 
um, and sh it should show us the results of the last one. Okay, again, if you cannot get that, if you cannot see your last one, it doesn't exist. It's not captures, we can't give you marks for it. So you're unfortunately going to have to redo the assignment. Um, the good news is you then get a free attempt to do it. So hopefully you can do um, even better. Okay, so um, that's it regarding this one. Um, so my advice would be to try and do it as early as possible um, so that you can leave enough time if your submission is not, was, not, was not successful. Um, again, if you submitted something and it wasn't captured correctly um, and you didn't pick it up ahead of time, then you will get zero for the assignment. Um, you won't get another attempt or anything like that. Um, so please do the assignment ahead of time um, and make sure that when you submit your assignment that it has been captured successfully. Okay, thank you.